Uh, before Hurricane Milton made landfall, people on social media were sharing misinformation about a storm that hasn't even formed. Yeah, meteorologists this week have been pushing back and asking people not to share those posts. In your social media feed, you may have come across this fear-mongering fake forecast showing yet another hurricane barreling toward the Gulf Coast. Yeah, that looked like that was just an old, uh, an old storm track from Hurricane Helene from a few weeks ago. Uh, because, yeah, there, there's nothing out there right now. National Weather Service meteorologist Rudy DiCarlo, who works in the Mobile office, says it's frustrating to see this kind of clickbait. That's going to make people anxious. It's going to make people scared. And, uh, and it's going to cause panic. And that's not what we want to do. It's way worse than it's ever been. That's our retired chief meteorologist, Alan Seals, who viewers trusted to guide them through storms for nearly four decades. Seals says there's a reason why most forecasts stop at seven days, and that's because the reliability and accuracy of them quickly diminishes after that. You can go online and see computer models that project the weather weeks out, but Seals says a lot can and does change with the forecast. There's always one, at least for part of the day, that shows something really scary and devastating. And that's the one that tends to get the most traction on social media because it's the worst case scenario. But until you're six, seven days away, it's not something you should even really think about. We watch every single model run. Yeah, you may see a one random model run that'll show, you know, some hurricane hitting somewhere along the Gulf Coast, but that's one model run and that could be eight, 10 days out. You know, things change. And then the next the next run will come in and won't show anything. Seal says government sources of weather data are unbiased, factual, and what you should turn to for your information, as well as local meteorologists you trust to explain the forecast. He also has this suggestion for your social media feed. And all the social media platforms are using an algorithm to where if they see you're interested in something, by the amount of time you pause on it, by the share, by the comment, you're going to see more and more of that coming to you. So I always encourage people, when you see trash on social media, no matter what it is, just keep going, ignore it. Great advice as always mm -hmm. from Alan. It was good catching up with him today. You know, these posts, unfortunately, really create so much confusion. I had a family member this yeah. week from out of state inquire about the supposed direct hit we're supposed to be getting. I had no idea what they were talking about. I had to ask you about it. Yeah. yeah, and unfortunately, we're just seeing way too much of that. I mean, as much as we're just trying to put out the right information, we're also fighting that misinformation. It's been a lot this season, but to those points, I mean, forecast models when it comes to tropical situations, they have no skill really past the five day period. So you can pick and choose really any forecast model because at this time of the year, climatology tells us that we still have a good chance of seeing things developing in the Western Caribbean. And so if you look at forecast models out long enough, they'll probably show something, but that doesn't mean something's coming here. And we have to remember that hurricane season doesn't end until November 30th. Mm -hmm. That's why you've got to keep it tuned mm -hmm. to Chief Meteorologist Thomas Giboy to get the facts. Well, and that's why it's also important to not burn yourself out. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. very long hurricane season. So the last thing we want to do is just to show you every single possibility, because if we went through the entire season and showed what the forecast models were showing in the plus 200 hour range, they're generally always going to show something. Yes. So that's why it's always important to have that perspective. And I actually posted about that on Facebook earlier today, just kind of talking about, yes, we're watching maybe in a week or two from now, but as of right now, there are no foreseeable threats. Well, I think that's what people want to know right now. Yes. What, what should we be looking for right now in the tropics? So right now we do have one named storm out there. Uh -huh. It's in the central Atlantic and that's tropical storm Leslie. It's now moving to the northeast. It's going to lose its tropical characteristics here in the next couple of days. Milton is working its way into the central Atlantic. That's just the remnants. And we're also watching a disturbance that's come off the coast of Africa that has a medium chance of forming. But as you look closer to the Caribbean and to the Gulf of Mexico, as of right now, not expecting any new development within the next seven days. So it's OK. You can take a deep breath right now, but we'll continue to keep you posted. And if a threat does develop, we will make sure that we let you know.